Hello and welcome to another episode of Last Orders. In today's video, we'll go through some TA on BTC and ETH, and then we'll take a look at some altcoins and some potential trading setups. And at the end, I will share a link to our free playlist on technical analysis. So whether you want to learn some or brush up on some skills. Uh, so yeah, stick around for that. Also, if you enjoy our content, please do like and subscribe. It does help us grow and uh, we really do appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into the chart. So if you saw our video on Monday, um, you will know that I was expecting um, this daily level of 26.6K, this daily uh, range low to essentially fold and uh, collapse and price to make a run down to 25.2K. Still yet to happen. We've had a little bit of a bounce this morning. If we go down to the lower time frames, you'll see it was looking good for a breakdown right up until midnight and then we zipped up uh, and we've had a little bit of a rally since. Um, however, a little bit of resistance here on the four hour time frame. So is this just a limp bounce? Um, it's similar to what we got on the 22nd and 23rd of May where we bounced, people got excited, and then we quickly um, dumped straight back down below the support. Or is this going to be a continued run? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, in my personal opinion, I don't see how this uh, level of support can hold much longer. I think it is going to give way and we're going to head down to 25.2. However, it could be wrong. I was wrong back here um, when we got that significant daily close below. And I thought this was a bearish retest. However, we came up, cleared out um, a lot of shorts took some liquidity, uh, which just goes to um, add to my conviction that I do believe this is sort of the final test of the support before it gives way, but we'll have to wait and see, only time will tell. We take a look at ETH, which is looking slightly better, so hasn't quite made it back down to its own um, critical daily level of 1820. As you can see, it's sort of floating in between uh, 1940 and 1820. On the weekly time frame. We are holding that 1783 quite nicely. However, we are just chopping around in no man's land. Similar to the daily time frame here, we've got this weekly resistance up at 2K, weekly support at 1783, and we're pretty much bang in the middle here at 1890. So nothing really going on there. However, EPTC is still looking very strong, trending upwards quite nicely. This is the daily time frame, as you can see, been on quite a run, and we are breaking out or attempting to break out of this uh, weekly bearish trend line, as you can see. So. ETH BTC made a low here back in the 27th of March, uh, had a little retest uh, two weeks later, but then it formed this higher low here um, back at the end of April, start of May. And if it can break over 0 0.07 and hold above that, then it would have made a higher high. So higher low combined with a high high, you're starting to get a, a nice uptrend and on a higher time frame as well, that is quite significant. But however, we are up against some resistance here. And then as I say, it's got to break 0 0.07 as well. So um, still a little bit of uh, resistance to break through, but it is looking good. And as I say, trending very nicely on the daily time frame, which is looking quite good for alts. And alts showing a bit of relative strength today uh, against Bitcoin. As you can see, uh, the three that I've got here, Dot, BNB and Zill, all um, doing better than BC, although maybe not BNB, but uh, certainly Dot and Zill um, doing a little bit better than BTC. So let's go take a look at the S&P. And uh, this is looking pretty strong at the moment as well. I'm surprised that BTC isn't following it. Usually it does, um, but it's had a nice little retest of 4175, broke above it, nice little retest, probably heading for that uh, monthly range height of 4327. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. Personally, I'm thinking that this could be um, a, a rejection zone, 4327. Um, however, we'll have to wait and see and uh, what that does for crypto. As I say, normally when the S&P is trending up, then uh, BTC follows it, but at the moment it's uh, it's not doing so. But uh, let's take a look. Another thing to keep in mind is the VIX. So if you've been following this channel for a little while, I do cover the VIX uh, every now and again. And the thing, the saying you want to remember uh, or keep in mind when looking at the VIX is when the VIX is low, look out below. When the VIX is high, time to buy. So if you go through um, the, your charts, if you look at the S&P and BTC, whenever the VIX goes really low here, that's when you normally get big dumps. And then when it's high, that's when you usually uh, get the bottoms formed. So with the VIX pushing right down into these real extremities down at like 15 and 14, I am expecting uh, a, a pretty significant pullback. And that again, feeds into my uh, conviction that I believe BTC, the 26.6K level on BTC 
um, is going to give way sooner rather than later. So as I keep saying, we'll just have to wait and see, time will tell. Let's get into some alts and some potential trade setups. So looking at DOT, we've got this higher time frame range, monthly range high up here at sort of like seven and a half dollars, range low down here about four dollars, and we've got this monthly mid range, which is also a weekly level here at five dollars fifty seven. You can see it's been a significant level all the way since uh, September 2020, and we are trading below it at the moment. If we go down to the daily time frame, we got our first daily close below this five dollars twenty five day level, very significant level as you can see ever since the 16th of December, the resistance here broke over the top, strong support here in March and it's been support ever since the 8th of May, look how many tests it's had, finally a daily close below and what is potentially today a bearish retest, now this is a very nice easy trade because you're getting in as a short right on the point of invalidation and you can look to target this level down here at $4.71 and your invalidation is simply a daily close back above $4.25 so you should be able to get out with a very very small loss if it does invalidate whereas the reward is pretty decent depending on your leverage but easily I mean as I say even if it just closes what 2% 3% above the daily level you're still looking at a 3 to 1 risk reward trade so very nice and easy uh, good entry close to invalidation very simple trade there. BNB, it's been uh, it's rejected. Well, it deviated this weekly range high uh, a few weeks ago, back in April. So my personal opinion is it's going to head for this weekly uh, mid range, which is also a daily level. If we go to the daily time frame, you can see we've been stuck in this very small range since the 9th of May, bouncing in between. So basically, a daily close below and a bearish retest of 303. So close and hold below, then I would be trading that down to uh, 273, which is that weekly mid-range day level I spoke about. Or if we do see a rally over the weekend and we get a daily close and hold above 315, then you could long that back into the daily, uh, sorry, the weekly range high. So there's two potential trades there for BNB, wait for the trigger. And then finally, Zill, we go to the weekly time frame. You can see it is uh, trying to hold its own weekly mid-range. You can see this is the range, range weekly range high about uh, 0 0.032, range low about 0 0.015. And uh, yeah, as I say, trying to hold this weekly uh, mid-range level. If we go to the daily, it's currently holding its daily level at 0 0.022. So nice confluence with the weekly there. So at the moment, you could look at this for a long, basically hoping that um, the daily level allows the weekly level to hold. Um, and then you could trade that up to, I'd probably look for a target on the uh, daily time frame if I switch back down. So there's a few levels you could aim for. If you jump in here, you could go for uh, this swing high here, it's only about 5%, or this larger move here, which is about 20%, this swing high um, back up to here at about 0 0.027. With uh, your invalidation basically being either a weekly close below the weekly level or if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, a daily um, close below this daily level here at 0 0.022. Again, if we see a dump over the weekend instead of a pump, um, same uh, trade as BNB and DOT, a daily close and hold below 0 0.022, and you could trade that down to the next daily level, which is this big gap here down to 0 0.019. So again, nice, easy, um, pretty good risk reward and again if you get the daily close below then your invalidation is basically a daily close back above and then you can jump out so three trades there um, both directions um, very nice easy risk reward um, simple trades if you like trading um, we've got plenty of trades in our learning crypto premium um, sign up first month is half price Go check it out in the link in the description below. Um, but we've got a program called the Earn Why you Learn, which is very simple trades if you've never traded before. Um, shows you how to go onto the exchange, execute the trades. I'll show you my TA, all that good stuff. And then once you're in a, a bit more advanced and you know what you're doing, um, we've got a chat in the Discord, which is members trades, where we've got a few really good traders in there that share all their trades. And uh, yeah, you can basically jump on and uh, learn from them and even share your own trades as well. So really good, uh, really good community aspect there. Loads of trades, lots of stuff to uh, get your teeth stuck into. But as I say, follow the link below, check out what we're all about and what we've got to offer. And as I say, if you stick around for a couple more seconds, I will link our free TA playlist um, for you to check out as well. So enjoy the weekend. Don't spend it all stuck on the charts. Uh, have a look for those setups, maybe set some alerts. 
and uh, we'll see what happens come Monday. So enjoy your weekends and I'll see you on Monday.